this is just the driveway but I want to see what the 35 millimeter f1.4 can do it's supposed to be an insane automotive photography lens I've been shooting with 2470 ever since I got it I have not touched any other lens I do like the 56 that I have but let's give this a shot okay I'm Okay, well, I do see why people love the 35 millimeter when shooting automotive. So whatever you have of the car in its background, it's actually able to get almost all of it that you're seeing. So you don't have to set up a shot in a different way and kind of plan out like, let's say if it's a 55, or well, sorry, a 56 millimeter, you have to go way far back to ever to even capture the scene. But where you have the 35, it's just a lot easier to just get the photos that you want. And the 1.4 is going to help with low light a lot. Because I don't have a 1.4 that is a full frame. I have 1.4s that are APS-C from my um, old A6000. But the full frame is going to be a lot better. So yeah, I can't wait to shoot uh, some materials at night and see how it goes. I think that's gonna be the ultimate test for this lens. I was trying to catch a nice burn of the sunset, but I think I missed it. Um, I was just trying to chase down these houses to get kind of like a nice background of the sunset, but these houses are so tall, I can't get anything. So I'm just gonna try out the 35 millimeter here at a park and see how it does. So the back, oh wow, look at the background. That's crazy. Let's see if I can get some of that in. I was saying this location doesn't look that great. Surprisingly, this is really good for close-up shots like like detail shots like the GR badge and like the uh, little add-ons that I have inside the car. And I feel like those shots come out really crisp because of the f1.4 that the lens has because the 2470 is only f2.8 uh, so the depth of field is not as crazy and it's not as good in low light so interior shots are insane with this lens but let me see if I can capture this right now it's actually crazy super short shoot but I think uh, we got a couple good ones maybe towards the end there's a little more burn but let's see how they go raining a lot randomly in uh, SoCal. Actually, it didn't rain a lot, but it kind of drizzled. It got all over Gracie and she's super dirty, so I need to wash her again. But I did get some new stuff from Amazon. My friend mentioned that it could have been the microfiber towels that I was using that, that could have scratched up those mi micro scratches on the car, so I decided to get a um, bigger drying cloth for the car from the rag company so give a shot and then I got some uh, waffle weeds for the windows that's a fail um, I had a hose adapter like a shower thing for the hose outside right there and I left that at the other house. I guess I would just go wash it in the other house. God dang it. Just moved to Nancy's aunt's house to come wash the car because I left my um, attachment here, the little sprinkler attachment. But yeah, here we go. All right, so we are getting towards the end of the wash. Just rinse soap, uh, rinse again, and then now it's time to dry. So let's see. This is it, the rag company. This is a 20 by 30, I think, I believe. Like that. Oh wow, it's really thick, super plush. Let's make sure there's no tag. Perfect, no tag. And here we go.
also the waffle weave for windows. Okay, I'm gonna say it. These are 11 out of 10. So good. I mean, I have not seen my windows this clear in forever. Let me show you guys. No streaks whatsoever all around the car. Look at that. That is amazing. Wow. Just one towel. Just one towel and the entire car is dry. I highly recommend it. Oh my god, I spent less than, I think about 30, maybe even less than 30 bucks for this and this. And they do a hell of a good job. So, I know it's like cheap to buy like Costco towels, the Kirkland ones, but they may scratch up your car so it's not worth it. Just spend a little bit extra and get really quality stuff and your car will look, look amazing too. I always get so nervous when I haven't shot in a while. Like I haven't picked up my camera in about over a week and a half and it feels so weird because I've been at rotations, I have work. This is actually, I just finished my 12th day of work in a row. So I am exhausted and I haven't had any time to kind of look up the locations of where I'm gonna shoot. And ever since I got back from Japan, I've been working basically non-stop. And I have this 35 millimeter and I've been meaning to really use it. I'm at a Shell gas station right now. I need to get gas for this car and I'm going to just try to make the most out of it as much as I can. So let's do it. <laughs> 